Let's take a tour of all the parts that make up the robot. We'll start with the laser etched Pinoco.com wood sheet of the seven parts. As you can see, it comes laser cut and stuck together with sticky tape. Here's the back side of the laser cut sheet. Take the tape off and you can see the seven individual pieces. Some of the small bits will come back with the tape, that's okay. Now take the support frame off and here are the seven pieces. You've got the two wheels, the bottom base, the two sides, the top base, and the front piece. At this point, the backing will have tape on it. You can choose to remove it, but I would actually suggest you leave it. When the laser cuts the wood, sometimes the laser cuts it a little bit bigger, a little bit small. Keeping the tape on the back actually allows us to have a tighter tolerance. You're also going to need two continuous rotation servos, just like these two. Servos come with a lot of accoutrements. Here you can see two little screws, a plastic attachment piece, and a large screw. The large screw is used for the axle. The two small screws are used to attach the accoutrement to the wood. There's a digital switch to act as a bump sensor. Flip the switch and you'll get a command. Wires. Three female-female, one red, one black, one white, and six male-to-female, two black, two red, two white. The robot rides in two big wheels, but needs something to counterbalance those wheels. We use a small ball bearing in a little enclosure. The Raspberry Pi is attached with four standoffs and eight screws. To drive the robot around, get an Xbox 360 USB controller. Now we start assembly. Take the black piece from the servo and connect it with the wood screws onto the wheel, just like this. Do this two times, one for each wheel. Put the servos into the wood side pieces. Make sure that the rotating part of the servo faces out and back, just like in the picture. Do this twice, one for each side, and you can use the wood screws in order to secure the servo to the side. Here are both servos inside each of the side pieces. Place the wheel with the plastic piece onto the servo head. You're gonna do this for both sides. Take the long screw that comes with the servos and attach the wheel to the servo. Take the ball bearing, the two bolts and the nuts that come along with it and attach the ball bearing to the bottom of the bottom piece. Flip the bottom piece over and attach the nuts to the bolts. Take the front piece and put the switch onto the front side of the front piece. Flip over the front piece and the switch and attach the nuts to the bolts. For the top piece, take the standoffs, the Raspberry Pi, and the screws and put a screw at the bottom of the top piece, the standoff on top of that, the Raspberry Pi on top of that, and then another screw into the standoff of the Raspberry Pi. Do that four times. When screwing the bolts into the standoffs, do not over tighten. You do not want to crack the Raspberry Pi. In addition, things might not line up perfectly. Get them as best as you can. Now all the parts are ready. Lay them out like this and you're going to complete final assembly of the robot frame. Attach the side with the servo and the wheel to the base. Attach the top to the wheel with the servo and the side. Attach the other side. Now you'll have all four sides connected. Now put the front with the switch onto the front of the robot. Your build is done. Now let's do the electronics. Connect male to female black, red, and white wires with the male side into the PWM cable coming out of each of the servos, just like this. Make sure to connect white to white, red to red, black to black. Now let's do the switch. Connect the white side to the side where the joint of the switch is, the black to the middle, and the red to the other side. You may need to turn the cables a little bit to get them to seat onto the switch. Let's get the wires out of the way. We route them underneath the top piece, through the front, and the top piece. The PWM cables have some slack. Go ahead and pull them or push them so they look about even. Grab the Xbox 360 controller. Ensure the intermediate connection is connected. Take the USB end of the Xbox 360 controller and plug it into one of the USB ports on the Raspberry Pi 2. Your robot kit is assembled. Congratulations. Let's get programming. The robot can work in two different ways. You can plug the USB Xbox 360 controller right into the robot and drive the robot around. Or you can plug the joystick into the same robot code that runs on a Windows 10 desktop PC and control the robot over networking. The robot can move forward, backward, turn left, turn right, turn left and go forward, turn right and go forward, turn left and go backward, and turn right and go backward. Through the power of the Universal Windows platform, you can take the exact same code and run it on your PC as well as on the Raspberry Pi 2. Wow, the power of Windows 10.
thanks for building the kit, watching this video, and starting with Windows 10 and the Raspberry Pi 2. Feel free to change the mechanical, the electrical, the software design, and make this project your own. And definitely tweet about it at hashtag MakeInventDo. Welcome to the Internet of Things.